What is up everyone? This is game of the week and yes, there is no Madden 12 footage to show you this game of a preview because my laptop is still messed up. I have not gotten it back yet. I'm hoping to get it back by the end of this weekend. So, I mean, this laptop I'm using now, I cannot edit videos because it cannot handle Sony Vegas. So, let's just get started off. I'm sorry. Okay. Monday Night Football the Chicago Bears 2-2 two two come into Detroit, which is 4-0. Yes, you heard it right, people. Detroit, The, the Detroit Lions are 4-0. Detroit just came off a huge win in Dallas, picking Tony Romo off twice and taking it back for touchdowns. Okay? That really turned the game around for them and won the game. And then on the other side, the Bears pulled off a win against the Panthers. Which was pretty impressive because their defense just told Cam Newton, no, we're not going to lose. So, pretty much, let's get started into this. <clears throat> let's talk about the Chicago offense, what I expect them to do in this game. I expect Jay Cutler to get sacked many times. I expect him to get picked off a couple times. And maybe one long bomb. I mean... In recent weeks, he's been getting pressured pretty bad. I mean, I don't think the Chicago offense can actually throw the ball. I mean, yes, you have Devin Hester, but he is more of a special teams person, which I'll talk about him later on. But then you have Johnny Knox. He can be explosive when Jay Cutler gets him the ball. And then you have um, Roy Williams. whoop de doo <laughs> I mean, he's not going to produce. He didn't produce in Dallas. He's not... He, I mean, he had a few good years in Detroit, but that's it. So, pretty much, I don't think Chicago's offense can do much of anything in this game. If they're going to do something, their defense has to step up and win them, win them this game. So, on the other hand, Detroit's offense. Calvin Johnson, eight touchdowns in four weeks. That's two touchdowns a game, people, okay? Do the math. If he keeps this up, I mean, it's going to be ridiculous on how many touchdowns he's going to get. He, like, okay, for example, when they played Dallas last week, uh, he caught a touchdown in the end zone in triple coverage. Are you serious? Like, wow. I mean, he's just a big red zone threat. Um, if Matt Stafford can uh, find him. They're going to win the game yet again, and they're going to go 5-0. and I mean, I believe they can. So, in this game, I'm taking the Detroit Lions to go 5-0. and Yes, you heard it right, people. You heard it here first. So, anyways, now on to the, the defensive side of the ball for both teams. Detroit, they're young. They got a nice front. Their secondary is improving, as you can see last week against Dallas. I think they're going to have their way with Jay Cutler. I really think they are. Uh, the Chicago's defense, their defense is still dominant, I think. But I think the only way that Matt Stafford and the, the Detroit Lions are going to win the game is if the Lions defense, if the, if the Lions offensive line blocks for Matt Stafford to let him have time in the pocket so he can throw the ball. If he has time to throw that ball, he's going to find some open receivers like Nate Bur Burleson, Calvin Johnson. Uh, I really I really don't know any other receivers on their team except them two, but I really think that if they can block for Matt Stafford, then the Chicago's Bear defense is not going to get to him. So my last main point of this game is Devin Hester. Special teams. Every time in prime time on Monday Night Football, he has at least one return on a punts or a kickoff. I guarantee we're going to see one of these. And it's in her, it's in turf, and he's going to have perfect conditions. He's going to return one, people. As you can see last week, he Devin Hester, you are ridiculous. We're going to see it again this week. It might make an impact in the game. It might not. But, but I'm still taking... The Lions in this one because I really think they are legit and they've shown they are. So I'm taking Detroit. Devin Hester is going to make a big difference though. 
I mean, if you if you if you're gonna kick the ball to him, you better be able to cover him. Because if you kick it to him, you're retarded. I mean, you just are. So, anyways, that just pretty much seals up the game of the week. I'm taking Detroit in a close one. So let me know who you're taking in this game. It's Monday Night Football. I really wish I could be home to watch it, but I got to work. But I'm going to tape it, though, and watch it. So let me know in the comments below who you're going to take and why. So let the discussion begin. I'll see you guys later.